Hello and welcome to the 2021 Youth Awards. My name is Meg Walker and tonight I will be your host. I started out as a youth ambassador in 2016. I was then one of the co-designers of Elevate, the Master Major Shire Council Youth Strategy from 2018 to 2028. I am now a member of the Youth Services Department as a Youth Activities Worker. I'm excited tonight to hear about all the amazing work from young people across our community. First, I want to acknowledge the Master Ranger Shire Council is on the Jajarung, Tungarung, and Wawandri Water Run country. I want to acknowledge that I am presenting to you tonight from the land of the Wawandri peoples. I wish to pay my respects to their elders, past, present, and emerging, and to other community elders who may be present tonight. 2021 has been another roller coaster of year. The Youth Awards like so many other aspects of our lives, have moved online. I encourage you tonight to enjoy this presentation as a sign of hope and recognition of the awesome work being done in our communities. Tonight, you will hear from various young people presenting the 2021 Youth Awards, alongside some info about the activities and programs delivered and continuing to be delivered by the Youth Services team at Council. But most importantly, you'll be hearing about the amazing work of the nominees in the 2021 Youth Awards. Nomination categories this year are Willpower, Nicely Played, Good Deeds, Skilling It, Well Aware, and Pure Imagination. Each presenter will provide more info on the categories. This year, judging took place with a different panel per category, made up of a young person and three judges from across council and a range of community organisations. The young judges will present our nominees and announce the winners tonight. Each winner will receive as an individual $100 or if a group $300. Congratulations to all nominees on your outstanding efforts and good luck. I'd now like to introduce Mayor Jennifer Anderson to say a few words. Good evening, Jennifer Anderson, Masson Ranger Shire Council Mayor here this evening on behalf of Council to congratulate everyone who's been nominated and all the winners in the award categories. I know it's going to be a fantastic evening. This is the second year it's had to come to everyone virtually. I remember last year's awards, so much fun, so much energy and just so great to see what you young people can put together. Really, really impressive. We know it's been even tougher as those lockdowns have kept going. We've been going in and out. School has happened, not happened. Everything is having to be done differently. And I know that the youth are really leading the way in adapting to all those changing environments. You've missed out on so much that would be normal rites of passage and things you would do. But instead of just sitting there, you've innovated, you've done different things, you've supported one another. Thank you also to the community members and family and friends of those that have put forward projects and worked in the community and helped our young people with all the efforts that they do. I know these awards are really just the tip of everything, but it's so nice to be able to recognise some of our young people and all that you do. As per last year's category awards, I love the category awards. It's just open to so many different areas and all the efforts that young people put in. So it's my greatest pleasure to be here this evening virtually and to be part of tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor Anderson, for your words and for the Council's commitment to celebrating and recognising young people in our Shire. This year, we received 33 nominations, with 54 plus young people nominated across the six categories. And to say the calibre is high would be an understatement. So let's get into the awards. I'm going to pass it over to a Live for Life crew member, Talon, who will present the willpower category to us tonight. Hi everyone, I'm Talon and I'm thrilled to be presenting the nominees and the winner in the willpower category of the 2021 Youth Awards. This category recognises young people who have shown real character and perseverance, especially in the face of adversity. It is about how they achieve their goals and the determination they have shown along the way. And the nominees for this category are Jacob Curry Sadell, Lara Vicente, Shea Benville, Zoe Patros, and Jacqueline Anderson. Jacob is a great example of a young man who is overcoming adversity to set himself up for success in the future. A few short years ago, Jacob was struggling to engage at school and was at risk of disengaging from friends, family, 
and even society. He rarely attended school and was spending time with friends only on social media. Jacob realised that this was another future he wanted and forced himself to re-engage at school. With help from family, friends and supportive staff, Jacob has now become a regular attendee at school. Lara joined the cadets at Braemar and was recently promoted to platoon sergeant. She has attended several leadership courses at Pacopano with over 200 other cadets. Despite crippling anxiety, Lara pushed herself and on and graduated each course with flying colours. She has also volunteered at the Wandering with the Youth Program as a mentor of other adolescents and joined a group of teens with autism in the ranges. She was born with the very rare condition of Angelman Syndrome. At 16 years old, she has 24 hour care. She is an example of an extraordinary resilience, of taking joy in every single day and complete engagement in life. Walking is difficult, but it enables her to be out, meet new people, see new things and engage in new ways. When people come into contact with Shay's contagious smile and her exuberance for life, they changed by these exchanges. Zoe is an actively engaged Live for Life crew member with more than two and a half years. She has helped adapt Live for Life school sessions to be in online formats. Zoe also supported the promotion of community campaigns such as Are You OK Day by recording videos and designing posters as part of her school's involvement in the day. In 2021, Zoe took an extra work helping to deliver multiple Live for Life launch events to more than 800 year eight students in the Shire. Jacqueline is an extremely hard worker and is a big inspiration to all of her family, friends and other peers. She is always looking for ways to improve on herself after job loss due to COVID-19, she set about mastering a range of career skills and developed on her existing radio skills to create a podcast from scratch. Jacqueline has also been a youth reference group advocate at Headspace Bendigo, where she was a representative voice for mental health concerns faced by smaller country towns. And now I would like to announce the winner of this category. Drumroll please for Laura Vicente! Hi, I'm Laura Vicente and I've been nominated for a Macedon Rangers Youth Award under the category of willpower. I'm very passionate about willpower because I've always known that I wanted to do something great with my life. However, I soon realised that sitting in my comfort zone and waiting for opportunities to come to me wasn't going to cut it. I needed to create opportunities for myself. Recently, I was diagnosed with autism which has helped me to understand why certain situations such as social situations or even filming videos like these can be harder for me than other people. But it's through willpower that I've pushed through and reached my full potential by achieving things like becoming cadet sergeant in the Australian Army Cadets, working at McDonald's and doing quite well academically. Additionally, I volunteered with a respite service for under 18 kids who had different abilities to give them days out and away from their parents. It is through this that I spread my willpower to the community and have inspired others to find willpower in themselves. Overall, willpower has brought many gifts to my life. It has helped me improve my confidence and has helped me to become a stronger person overall in resilience. Thank you. Thanks for presenting our Willpower Award talent. And congratulations to Lara. Now let's hear from Finn. Finn is one of our youth ambassadors and we'll be presenting the Nicely Played Award to us tonight. Thanks, Finn. Hello, everyone. My name is Finn. I'll be announcing the nominees and winner for the Nicely Played category of the 2021 Youth Awards. This category recognises young people who are kicking recreational and physical activity goals. The nominees for Nicely Played categories, Bailey Goodman, Harrison Sheehan, Hugo Lobb, Joshua Ayres, Jess Hall. Bailey is a member of Rills Creek Tennis. He has been a member of the club and played competition tennis with RCTC for seven years. Bailey has been a great mentor to junior players and has reached the pinnacle of junior tennis by playing in the A1 section. In 2019, Bailey joined the RCTC club committee as a junior representative and will now take on the role of the club junior coordinator. He will be the youngest person to hold this role at the club and also for the MRTA. Harrison is an accomplished young sports person representing his school and Kyneton in both football and cricket. He plays under 16 football for Kyneton and has been a part of the AFL Central Vic Football Academy. He 
past few years has seen his cricket move to new heights. He is considered a talent left arm fast swing bowling all rounder and just this year was selected in the Cricket Victoria under 17 male VIP country emerging player squad which places him in the top 30 VIP country cricketers and puts him in contention for selection in the VIP country stateside. Hugo is an elite bare bow recurve archer. He possesses exceptional technical and field craft skills. Hugo competes against adult archers two age groups above his own. At 17, he has an overwhelming collection of titles and records, including eight gold and three silver at 2019 nationals, and currently holds 11 Australian records. Debuting internationally in 2020 World Archery Indoor Series, Men's Open Bearbo, he achieved first in Sydney, seventh in Rome, and eighth in Las Vegas. Hugo isn't driven by the need to be better than another archer, but by the desire to improve his own performance and skill. Joshua Ayres is taking significant steps towards his goal of joining the Royal Australian Air Force. Josh is a student at the Bullingaruk campus of Sunbury and Masson Rangers Specialist School. Recently, Josh has joined the Air Force Cadets and is a proud member of 430 SQN Masson Rangers. He has a dream of one day becoming a fighter pilot. Josh refuses to let anything beat him and will not let disability stand in the way of success. Josh's training includes everything from recognising ranks and badges, marching, aviation safety, flight fundamentals, introduction to drones and saluting. Joshua is a great illustration of a young man going places and working towards achieving a dream. Jess is a keen sports person and has been a solid presence at weekly netball for many years. She'll often stay at the stadium all night, helping other teams, scoring, filling in on court. Recently, Jess has found another passion in football. She has joined the Kyneton FIDA League and now plays fortnightly games for the Tigers all around the area. She recently kicked her first goal, which was an awesome moment, and is now a power player in her team. And the winner is Hugo Lobb. Hi, my name is Hugo, and I've been nominated for the Nicely Played Award due to my dedication and perseverance in the sport of archery. It's such an honour and a privilege to be nominated for this. At the end of 2019 and start of 2020, I competed in the World Archery World Indoor Series, which took me to places like Rome, Las Vegas, and finally Sydney, where I managed to win a gold medal in the adult men's category. Over the long months of COVID inactivity, archery gave me something to focus on and work towards, with the result being four new world records to my name in December 2020. Two for indoor 18 meters in cadet and under 21s, and two for outdoor 50 meters in cadet and under 21s. For the majority of my archery career, I've been a self-propelled athlete, meaning I don't have a designated coach. I prefer to learn from multiple people rather than expecting one person to have all the answers. And this has played a big part in shaping both my archery career and who I am today. I'm so grateful to my parents for making my archery journey possible and being so eager to help in any way they can. Needless to say, the support shown to me by my archery community has been incredible. I do archery because it calms and relaxes me. When I'm shooting, I feel an increased connection to my body and my environment, and it allows me to clear my mind. I'm also a passionate archery coach, and both seeing myself succeed in my goals and others succeed in theirs is what keeps me coming back to archery. I'm so pleased to be nominated for this award and hope that my story can help inspire others to try archery and fall in love with it. Congrats, Hugo. All these nominations have been blowing me away already. Now it's time for the good deeds category. Jack is a member of the Live for Life crew and will present the award for us tonight. Hey, Youth Award Watchers. I'm Jack, and I'll be announcing the nominees and the winner in the good deeds category of the 2021 Youth Awards. This category recognises young people who give their time and energy to activities that support the well-being of another individual, group or community. The good deed nominees for this year are Alice Turner, Brittany Tiernan, Ruby Rivera, Chanel Benker and Ben Shaw, Sienna Payne and Sky Peak. Alice grew her hair out for the last two years to provide hair for the wigs of cancer patients. She also supports her mother physically and emotionally to manage her multiple sclerosis. She was master of ceremonies at a family friend's 50th birthday and also coordinated activities and decorations. 
She was school captain and has launched virtual dance lessons during COVID lockdown for community residents. She is an all-round good human being who shows empathy and compassion. Brittany contributes to the Way Out program by actively participating in our House of Awesome LGBTQIA plus group in the Massam Rangers and was a fabulous and dynamic youth leader on our Pride Camp 2021. Brittany participated in the Rainbow Bridges Intergenerational Arts Project for International Day Against Homophobia, Biphobia, Interphobia and Transphobia, supporting a younger member of the Gisborne Pride crew in the project. Brittany is genuine, optimistic, positive and a great model for the younger LGBTQ plus people in our area. Ruby volunteers her time at a local salvo store two days each week while she juggles uni and work commitments. In addition to this, Ruby was selected to represent the Massam Rangers on the Youth Advisory Board for the Lodham Mallee Adapt Climate Change proposal and worked for the last few months with other youth across the region to recommend strategies and plans to help youth adapt to climate change. Vanilla and Ben have been instrumental in setting up clubs vital to the community at Braemar. They have started the Bush Bashers, a lunchtime walking group, and have set up and run a chess club. Through their work with these clubs, they have promoted niche interests as not only acceptable, but valid and worthy. They are also active members of our Pride Alliance and vocal proponents of social justice issues. Sienna chose to take part in the 2021 Act for Change Ration Challenge, a challenge that requires participants to eat the same ration supply and exactly the same food in almost exactly the same quantities as Syrian refugees for one week. Sierra raised more than $1,560 of the total $950,000 that was raised. Taking part in the challenge gave her a deeper respect for people surviving on the ration day in, day out. There are now plans for many of her classmates and friends to take part in next year's challenge. Skye volunteers her time coaching the under-11 netball team on a Saturday morning at Boardman Stadium in Sunbury. Skye has been an active netball player over the past six years and she plays representative netball. She also plays for the Diggers Rest Junior Football Netball Club and has helped out with training sessions for the under-11s. She has received numerous contribution awards throughout the season. Sky has a real passion for the game, so when the wonderful opportunity arose to coach, she could not pass it up. And the winner is Sienna Payne. Hi, my name is Sienna Payne, and I'm a nominee for the Massive Rangers Youth Award in the Good Deeds category. Back in June, I participated in the Act for Peace 2021 Ration Challenge, where I ate just a small amount of rice, flour, lentils and beans for the week. These rations are what are provided to many refugees in countries like Syria and Jordan. With the help of over 30 sponsors, I was able to raise $1,569, all going towards providing emergency food, healthcare and support to these refugees. With COVID-19 shocking the world, it's been even harder for these families to stay safe. I wanted to do everything I could to help out these families, as well as I wanted to take on the challenge and see if I would be able to eat these rations. Every day, I am grateful to be able to expect food to be available to me, but many in the world don't live with this luxury. After the week, I found myself barely able to manage with the lack of nutrition, and any rewards I got made all the difference. Going through this experience has made me even more passionate about helping people in disadvantaged communities I'm both looking forward to and dreading a little doing the challenge next year. Thanks Jack for presenting and congratulations to Sienna. Our next presenter could be a familiar face. Laura presented the Youth Awards last year as the MC. Alongside that, she's an active member of the community, a past Live for Life crew member and a youth ambassador, and a founding member of the Time to Talk expert reference group. Laura will be presenting the Skilling It category for us tonight. Hi everyone, I'm Laura and I am very excited to be announcing the nominees and winner in the Skilling It category for the 2021 Youth Awards. This category recognises young people excelling in a mentorship program, workplace or business. And the Skilling It nominees for 2021 are Auskick Leaders Kyneton, Gisborne Family Dental Trainee Dental Nurses, Jacob Saddington, Jess Hall and Peter Norris. This first group has excelled in their roles with the Kyneton Football Netball Club. The Auskick program has been reinvigorated by their involvement and it is just so great to see these local boys and girls showing such great leadership qualities. Our Auskick participants really look up to these boys and girls due to their interaction, patience and willingness to teach them the correct skills involved in football. They've helped the program reach over 100 new participants. Jacob is currently ranked 4th in the world for under 14 men's slalom, ninth in the world for under 14 men's jump based on the International Water Ski and Wakeboard Federation dynamic ranking list. 
In 2021, he was selected to join the Australian Junior World squad. Jacob is a role model as he is able to still be an active part of the college, competing in other sporting events at a high level, and holds the role of house captain for the middle school. Melanie Horvath, Abby Rayner and Larissa Colsig are three outstanding dental nurse trainees at Gisborne Family Dental. They are each completing a Cert 3 in dental assisting at RMIT, juggling study with full-time work. They are key team members of the practice and are integral in ensuring the patients have a pleasant dental experience. They demonstrate enormous aptitude, enthusiasm and responsibility and bring a very positive vibe to the GFD team. Jess works at New Leaves. Her social skills suit retail with her ability to engage a customer in the chat, not just about books, but also about life. The computer system is slightly difficult with all the inventory, but Jess stuck with it. And now three and a half years on, she's a master of e-ability. Jess loves to drive the computer when the store is busy and is super efficient with receipts, packing. Jess enjoys herself while at work and has a very responsible attitude and great communication skills. Peter is a year seven student who runs his own business after school. On weekends and in his school holidays, he would like to eventually buy himself a falcon. He mows and does gardening nearly every day. This requires good time management skills in order to attend school, get his homework done and make time to do his mowing. Peter sets clear goals for himself and puts the hard work in to achieve them. And the winner is Gisborne Family Dental Trainee Dental Nurses. Thank you, Laura, and congrats to the Gisman Family Dental Trainee Nurses. I've talked about our Youth Ambassadors a few times tonight. The Youth Ambassadors are transforming into a new program layer. The Youth Ambassadors program is a youth leadership initiative that amplifies the voice of young people and supports projects that young people are passionate about. The program helps young people to realise their leadership potential by building their leadership skills and peer-to-peer -peer and community connections. Young people aged 12 to 25 who live, work or study in the Maston Ranges are eligible to participate in the program. In 2022, there are two main ways young people can participate in the Youth Ambassadors program. Our Green Means Go activity is for any young person that's got a passion project they want to get started or one they want to keep go, go, going. Green Means Go gives dollars and project support to young people looking to do just that. Our Leaders in the Loop activity is for any young person who knows what young people want and wants to tell us. Leaders in the Loop gives young people a seat and a say at the council and community consultation table. You can find out more about the 2022 Youth Ambassadors Program and register your interest at mrsc.vic.gov.au forward slash youth forward slash leadership. Now I'd like to introduce Liz, an artist and a Future Creation Zine committee member. The zine, Future Creations, was launched last year and has released four copies to date. You can find copies at local council buildings and libraries, as well as online on the council website. Liz will be presenting the Well Aware categories and a winner. Everyone, I'm Liz and I will be taking you through the nominees and winners for the Well Aware category in the 2021 Youth Awards. The Well Aware category recognises young people who shine a light on important issues and who raise awareness in the community. And the Well Aware nominees are Amy Falkai, Harry Sawyer, Molly Consiglio, and Ruby Rivera. Amy is a Live for Life crew member. She's positive and contributes well thought out ideas on how the activities are delivered during this challenging time. This year's program theme was Risk It to Fix It, and Amy was able to develop relevant and easy to understand messages to promote the theme to year eights, reflecting her comprehensive understanding of the key messages of Live for Life. Amy inspires her crew colleagues with her positive and engaging approach to the Live for Life program. Ari has been an active part of the Wombat Forest Cares Camera project. The project has made several significant discoveries, including the threatened bush-tailed Vasco Gale, Victoria's most easterly record of the mountain skink and roosting sites of the powerful owl. Ari has shown a huge amount of dedication to the project. Since originally funding the purchase of the new camera, Ari has been actively involved in the project for three years. Molly has been a leader and a player in the successful Lansfield Cricket Club's women's team. She has encouraged other young women to become involved and break down the barriers associated with women in sport. She also helps others through her involvement with the Camp for Cancer and she has assisted in raising $50,000 for the Peter McCallum Hospital and Research Centre. Ruby has a passion for social causes, in particular issues around climate change. Ruby studies biotechnology at RMIT to, in her words, to channel into environment remediation. She also volunteers at the Salvos to support reusing and recycling and the movement away from fast fashion. 
She is a member of the Youth Council Advisory Board, YCAB, reviewed and advised on the recent Loddon Mallee Department of Land, Water and Planning's Climate Ready Plan. And the winner is Molly Consiglio. Hi everyone, my name is Molly Consiglio and I've been nominated for this award by a local Zonta Club of Kyneton. So why have I been nominated for this award? For those who know me, they'd say a massive and integral part of my life is volunteer work and giving back to our local charity in whatever way I can. But then I guess not everyone knows me. For me, volunteering comes from the heart and is, and is this incredible act of kindness we can share and offer to all. At Camp for Cancer, our goal is to help find a cure for cancer with every dollar we raise going to the Peter McCombe Research Centre and um, other oncology services to one day help to find a cure for cancer. I've always been a person who believes that we can all play our part, whether it be at a charity, sport club or even school. We can play our part, big or small, to help create this world of kindness, equality, but most importantly, fairness. Even to be nominated for this award is an opportunity and one I'll forever be grateful for. This is an opportunity where I can spread awareness for, that everyone can get involved, big or small, to show students and kids my age that there are charities, organisations and people out there who want to help and who are waiting for us to put up our hands and say we'll do it, we'll help. Thank you. Congratulations Molly and thank you Liz for presenting. Now we're returning to Finn to present our final award for the night. Take it away Finn. Hi everyone, Finn here again. I'm also announcing the nominees and winners for the Pure Imagination category of the 2021 Youth Awards. This category recognises young people pursuing their passion for creativity in the arts. The nominees for the Pure Imagination category are Cody Boyer, Future Creation Zine Committee, Harley Grant, Jake Jarris, Monet Lewis, Mount Players Youth Theatre Leadership Group, and Zoe Phillips. Cody is a Year 11 student at Gisborne Secondary College with a great interest and ability in the arts, currently completing Unit 2 of Studio Arts. She is a versatile artist with interests in drawing, painting, sculpture and textiles. Cody's work shows meticulous attention to detail. She further demonstrates her interest in the arts by making jewellery and sewing clothes at home. The Future Creation Scene Committee have managed to design, develop and distribute a quarterly creative publication made by young people for young people in the Masson Ranges. They've consistently contributed their own creative work to each edition and have also provided a platform for others to display their creative talents. The committee have refined their own artistic talents or explored new ones while shaping and developing a new accessible outlet for each young person in our Shire. Hallie is a Year 10 student who attends the Bullingbrook campus of Sunbury and Masson Rangers Specialist School. She has demonstrated great determination and perseverance in pursuing her artistic dreams. She has an extensive portfolio of work and notebooks when inspiration strikes. Her work is unique, powerful, prolific and iconic. She uses colour effectively in her cartoon and realism portraits. She has taken her love of art and used it to overcome personal challenges in her life. Jake is a Year 11 student at Gisborne Secondary College with a great interest and ability in the arts, currently completing Unit 2 of Studio Arts. He is a versatile artist with interest in drawing, painting and IT. Jake's work shows meticulous attention to detail and is not frightened of taking risks in his work. He further demonstrates his interest in the arts by taking art classes in his personal time. This year, Jake worked with Gisborne Secondary College's artist-in-residence, Jim Code, and learned the basics of projection art. Monet is an inspiring young performer. She began her love for performing arts at a young age and is consistently demonstrating maturity, responsibility and work ethics beyond her years. During 2020 to 2021, Monet landed a professional role in Harry Potter and the Cursed Child, Princess Theatre playing Lily Potter Jr. Monet balances full-time work and school. Her work ethic is commendable and noted by producers, directors and cast members. This group of young people have provided at least 60 theatre members with inspiration, skills, fun and friendship. They give their time and expertise and expect nothing in return. Whilst being volunteer group leaders of MPYT, these young people have been completing their senior years of high school and or university studies. They turn up every week, are very excited and extroverted young people and help build their confidence to become better performers. 
Zoe is a year 10 student at Gisborne Secondary College with a great interest in the arts, currently studying Unit 2 of Studio Arts and Year 10 Visual Communication and Design. She is a versatile artist with interest in photography, drawing, painting and music. Zoe's work shows meticulous attention to detail and she is developing a strong personal style. She has also been involved in school productions assisting with backstage requirements. And the winner is Mount Clare's Youth Theatre Leadership Group. Hi, my name is Chris and I have been a member of the Mount Players Youth Theatre since 2011 and leading since 2013. The Mount Players Youth Theatre is a community theatre program designed for children and young adults aged from 10 to 19 years old, providing opportunities for the members to gain a wide range of onstage and offstage theatrical skills and knowledge. It is run entirely by volunteers. Like myself, the other youth leaders have been a part of the youth theatre for some time now, starting off as one of the members in the younger groups, then teaching these groups once we were a bit older, but still attending our own classes. Since finishing as youth theatre members, we have stayed on to teach and direct. The other leaders this year are Max Picken, Dara Hunt, Adele Galling, Sean Wilson, Benjamin Obermoser, Erica Vandenberg and Jack Smith. Throughout this year, despite the many challenges that statewide lockdowns have created, each one of the leaders has continued to work hard in providing online activities and work for the members of the youth theatre to participate in each week. These online activities became increasingly important when we began rehearsals for our planned end of year production, Treasure Seekers, in which all members have a role, either on stage or helping out with other aspects of the production. This show is being directed by Max and Dara, with help from the other leaders. We all absolutely love seeing how much each of the members enjoys the sessions and engages in the rehearsals and performances. Each year of running the youth theatre is unique and enjoyable in its own way for everyone involved. Congrats to the Mount Players Youth Theatre Leadership Group and thank you Finn for presenting our final award. Now I have one final project to talk to you guys about tonight and Finn, our previous presenter, is the leader of this project as a youth ambassador. We have produced badges designed to spark a conversation around gender diversity. The designs of the badges are the silhouettes of heads laid on top of each other. The design showcases and celebrates gender diverse identities. Tonight we've heard about inspirational young people from some inspirational young people. What a great event, if I do say so myself. Congratulations to all our winners and all our nominees. You've done amazing things. I'd also like to send a huge thank you to the Maston Ranger Shire Council for supporting this event and a thank you to all our presenters and all the crew behind the scenes for making this event run. If you're a young person connected to the Maston Rangers and you'd like to get involved with one of our great youth committees or programs at Council, then make sure you get in touch with one of the workers in the youth services team or connect with us on social media. I am so thankful for being involved in such a heartwarming event. I hope it brought a smile to your faces. Stay safe and stay well. See you next time.